this week on Way of the Master. So here we are at the Kendrick Brothers secret lair. This is a very highly secretive, clandestine, undisclosed location, all right? And look, you've seen War Room, you've seen Fireproof, you've seen Courageous, you've seen Flywheel, you've seen them all, right? This is where the magic happens. Now you get to see the Kendrick Brothers and where it all gets done. I'm scared, guys. I mean, this is a secret lair. Oh, man. Uh, uh, ah! Hey, oh. How are we doing? Hey, man. <laughs> oh, man. What are you doing? Oh, I just got hijacked. All right, guys, so I'm in the secret lair. Yeah. I made it through the waterboarding. <laughs> right. Got, through the, got yeah. through the bat cave, all right? And uh, this is surreal, man. You know, just, uh, you guys have been friends of our ministry for a long time, and, uh, you know, we've been so impacted by your movies, but to, to be here where it happens is such a joy. Yeah. So I'm excited to spend the day with you guys and just look around and see what you got. Yeah, going awesome. We'll show you around. By, by the way, this is Shannon. Yeah. This is, he's the oldest Kendrick brother. All right. The only one I had to meet. Then it's to me, Shannon. And then, so this room, uh, basically, this is one of our activity rooms. Um, so we have edit bays in here, and then you see our movie posters. And Fireproof yeah. and Courageous were edited on these two oh, computers. Oh, man. So yeah. can, I, can I touch them? Yeah. <laughs> I touched them. Some of the books uh, up there, and, and then uh, we have the ping pong in here as well. Yeah. We come, we need a break and come and beat each other up with the uh, ping pong. But it's, <laughs> That's uh, it's awesome. But hey, we, we will show you the rest of the yeah, house. Yeah. You come up here. Another edit bay that's really our dining room, but we work here. Yeah. And uh, so matter of fact, we, we got to tell you about our wall of remembrance. Oh, this, yeah. this wall here, uh, and Stephen will jump in too. This wall here uh, uh, is a representation of many of God's answered prayers. Mm -hmm. Every picture up here is uh, a blessing, something that the Lord uh, really came through. You know, a lot of times when people succeed, they, they like to put trophies everywhere. This is like, God's trophy wall, That's right. you know, uh, all the things the Lord has accomplished. So wow. this is the war room. The war room. This is where it so, happens, man. So we pray in here, we plan in here, we meet in here. So we planned out the movie war room in here and wow. scheduled out so much of the stuff with that. That so, is yep. so cool. Calendar, you know, production calendar, traveling calendar. There are our uh, crews for each of our movies. Yeah. Facing the wow. Giants crew, fireproof. There's Kirk right there. Oh, there he is. I remember he bulked up for this. Too. Yeah, that's so, right. That's right. He's a fireman, yeah. And then that's Courageous, and this is the War Room crew. So a lot of people that the Lord has always provided to yeah. help us with every step that's of the journey. That's neat. So. Another yeah. answer to prayer here, too. Absolutely. You know, bringing everyone together and orchestrating it all. So guys, I, I, I'm really eager to hear the story. Let's go back to ground zero. How did this get birthed in your heart, movie making in the first place? Um, wow, well, Shannon and Stephen and I were making silly little home movies growing up. Instead of Indiana Jones, it was Alabama Jones. <laughs> Instead of James Bond, Stephen's character was Savings Bond. Oh, that's awesome. And he, actually, Stephen was quite the stuntman growing up. So uh -huh. Shannon would often be behind the camera, and I'm an actor, and Stephen's an actor, and we get other neighborhood kids. And so in the 90s, um, um, you know, Shannon goes to Georgia Tech, we go to Kennesaw, get communication degrees, and then um, Stephen and I went on to seminary and developed a love for ministry. Shannon's ordained as a deacon, we're ordained as ministers, and, and we go to see our pastor, and we say, what if we did a, a small budget movie for the community in Albany, Georgia, here in South Georgia? Mm. And, um, and we prayed it through, and that became Flywheel, a $20,000 movie. Now, how we, long ago was that? This was 2003. Okay. Yeah. And we didn't know what a call sheet was, production schedule was. Yeah. People, didn't know show, people show up and like, what am I wearing? Or well, whatever you have on, you know, oh, that's the word. Yeah, that's so awesome. We didn't know what we were doing. Just it was very disorganized. Gritty and raw. And that's just, right. You but know. the one thing we did with our team is to commit it to prayer on that's a right. regular daily bed before every scene. We had no other hope otherwise. That's right. right. It was right. like, Lord, you're going to have to bail us out. Made every mistake you can make in production, yeah. doing it wrong. But when Flywheel came out in our local theater, God did something we did not expect. Uh, people started responding to the message, rededicating their lives. People were accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior wow. sincerely. And we had people coming to our church telling us, and we were amazed at what the Lord did. And that led to Facing the Giants, our second movie, $100,000 budget, all volunteers. Mm -hmm. And the response was like a tidal wave. We had people making decisions for Christ, and that led to, to Fireproof. And um, Kirk was a part of that oh, yeah. and did a fantastic job. And ma matter of fact, um, 
the way of the master influence on our film started happening about fireproof and went on to courageous and and after that Mm -hmm. where the the manner in which we would present the gospel was influenced by what we began seeing on way of the master not that we weren't ready to share the romans road or our our Mm -hmm. witness but the manner in which it was so effectively presented, you know, going to a person and saying, why do you consider yourself a good person? Let's put that up against God's law. Yeah, That's right. yeah and when we, I'll tell you, when we saw that in the movie, it's hard to explain the, the joy that, that struck our hearts because we knew that millions of people were gonna see this movie. Yes. And our ministry's passion is to inspire and equip Christians in fulfilling the Great Commission. And to see brothers like you catch that vision and the biblical principles for evangelism, and then to take it to the big screen and, and it's impacting people. There's no words to describe it. The cross was offensive to me until I came to it. Can't you see that you need Him? Proof. So many marriages saved, mm-hmm. you know? And with Courageous, you think about successive generations because parents are getting serious about bringing up their children in the ways of the Lord. Yes. And War Room, what God is gonna do in the spiritual realm because people are bombarding the throne of God, you know, with prayers. I mean, it's just, it gives me goosebumps as as I just think of the hand of God over it all. We often say, you know, we we can make a movie, but the Lord changes the heart. Mm. We can't manipulate people's hearts. We can do emotional scenes to a degree, but ultimately the spirit has to speak to their heart, convict them and call them to himself. And uh, and again, if we can just be part of that, if the Lord allow us, that, that makes it all work. and streaming listings available at wayofthemaster.com.